Hello Spartan fans, another day, another soccer game. My name is Chris Sharp and we're live here at Coahuila Creek High School here in Dalton, Georgia where the GAC Spartans, the two seed, are facing the one seed in Coahuila Creek. And this is the AAA Final Four matchup, semifinals here. So we're live in action, getting ready for some warm-ups and also introducing some starting lineups. But we have Coach Jacay for the Spartans and the Spartans are 8-8-1 eight, eight and one on the season. And it's been a very interesting sequence of events. So the Spartans had a tough start to the season. Starting off 0 5 and 1, and also they were 1 7 and 1 at one point, but they've rallied throughout the rest of the season to be 8 8 and 1 here in this postseason game. We're here in the semifinals, so they've come all the way back. The Spartans are in white. We have Kohala Creek, they're in navy, kind of dark blue over here on the side. And so the Spartans have an interesting journey. They defeated Pierce County in the quarterfinals 5 1. Alex Gomez had two goals, Joshua Gonzalez had two goals, and Mac Vargas had a goal as well. In the second round, they beat the fifth ranked White County 3 2 on the road. and also in the first round, they defeated Franklin County, the three seed, 10 nothing. So the Spartans have been on the road the whole way. Ladies and gentlemen, one game from state. we have a principal, Tracy Martin. And so we're here, here going over the starting Chris lineup. Lewis. So we'll take a little break and we'll get ready for some action coming up. We'd like to welcome all of our guests this evening, especially our visitors, visitors from Greater Atlanta Christian School. The GHSA and its member schools have made a commitment to promote good sportsmanship by students, athletes, coaches, and all spectators at all GHSA sanctioned events. Profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials or competitors will not be tolerated. Enter grounds for removal from the event site. Spectators are not allowed to enter the competition area near warm-ups or while the contest is being conducted. Thank you for your cooperation in the promotion of good sportsmanship at today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, today more than ever, we are fortunate to live in the greatest country in the world. If you're able, we ask that you please stand. Gentlemen, please remove your hats as we take time to honor the men and women serving our country at home and abroad with the playing of our national anthem. Please direct your attention to the left, to the north side of the stadium. Number 10, Damola Salami. 
Number 11, Joshua Gonzalez. Number 12, Jackson Rosero. Number 16, Cole Bryant. Number 20, Alex Gomez. Number 23, Beckham Jacquet. Number 27, Mark Vargas. Spartans are under the direction of head coach Tom J.K., Stephen Holt, Jack J.K., Oscar Venez, and Sam Burns. And now, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise as we introduce the starting lineup for your Kahuna Creek Colts. Number 21, Manny Arredondo. Number five, Diego Diaz. Number 20, Jamie Mendiola. Number 30, Dims Noel. Number 18, Mervin Alvarez. Number 8, Ronaldo Mendiola. Number 10, Eddie. Restrooms are located in the back of the concession stand for your cons convenience. We'd like to thank Hamilton Medical Center for providing sports medicine coverage and our athletic trainer. Hamilton Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of Cahalla Creek High School Athletics. The partnership of Hamilton Sports Medicine and the AOSM physician team is an integral part of Cahalla Creek High School Athletics. Thanks to Hamilton Sports Medicine, AOSM, and Dr. Lashley. We'd like to recognize, recognize the Cahalla Creek leadership, head coach Aurelio Jacobo, <laughs> manager Stephen Landoverde, Shannon Coley, Lucinda Bolt, Joe Conway, and Karen Davis, athletic trainer Morgan Williams. Go Colts! All right, so if you're just tuning in here, my name is Chris Sharper, live here at Cahalla Creek High School, home of the Colts, and we're about getting ready for game action here. So. Head coach of the Spartans is Tom Jacquet, if you just missed that earlier. And the Spartans are 8 8 and 1. And Cahola Creek, the Colts are 15 2 and 2 on the season. So they made a nice little run beating Morgan County, East Jackson, and Gilmer on the way to the semifinal game. And the Spartans defeated Pierce County, also White County, and Franklin County on the way up there as well. So both teams are huddled up here, getting some last instructions, some last pregame hype right here. Maybe a little pregame prayer as well for the Spartans. So they'll gather around here as we're getting ready for the opening kick. But so far, it's going to be a great matchup right here. For the starters for the Spartans are Parker Wagon, a keeper right there. We have Walker Lewis, Andre Moxie right there, Dre Moxie. We've got Justin Moore, Jamola Salami, Joshua Gonzalez, Jackson Rosero, Cole Bryant, Alex Gomez, Beckham Jacquet, and Mac Vargas for the Spartans. So we're getting ready to go here. The Spartans are in white. They have a little navy blue on the side for the Colts. And here we go. Looks like Mac Vargas. Oh, he's going to back off now. So we'll see who's going to sit it in for the Spartans. And we'll last huddle on the field for GAC here. Going over game plan, talking things over. Coach DK patrolling the sidelines. And so far, a little bit partly cloudy skies. You know, nothing too dark, though. There's a little bit of worry of rain earlier, but knock on wood here, we seem to be good to go for this matchup. And a beautiful school out here at Cahola Creek. I believe it's 10 years old. That was when the uh, ADs told us when he walked in here, when the assistants told us when he walked in here. So beautiful campus, nice facilities out here, excellent space, and a very large stadium as well. So a lot of fans packed in here, but I would say they're also spread out as well. So a lot of room to move around and 
Here we go, Mac Vargas will have the opening kick here for the GAC. And Cole Bryant's gonna launch it down the field. There goes the header. Now it's back on the ground here. And we'll see what, how the possession game goes in this matchup here. If the Spartans can get possession or will the Colts be pushing it down? Now Walker loses working on the side, tripped up there. And there'll be a penalty going back, GAC's way. That could have been a nice little break right there for the Colts, so that was a good job right there. Walker Lewis playing through the contact. And Dre Moxie will put it into play. Going to loft it down the field. The header by Vargas, but it's going to go to the side here. And the Colts have possession now. They're going to work it around. Vargas with a little bit of pressure right there. A little header game right there. There you go. Down the ground now. So here come the Colts. And early in this game is definitely a feeling out process for sure. Both teams are going to try and press and then kind of attack and probe the defense, see exactly where the lanes are. Good job by Mack moving his feet, getting around there. And so far, no one's on ball right there. And it's back across the midfield line. And a header by Lewis right there. Nice touch over there. That was Rosero to Walker Lewis trying to find Gonzalez. And here come the Colts. Oh, but Beckham Jacquet is right there in the right place at the right time. Gets back over to Walker. They're going to send it back to Dre, try to clear things out. Got to get out early. And here come the Colts right now. Got to get to touch early. An excellent job. And they're going to turn and face. And Jacquet is going to get over to Cole Bryant. And they just need to get it out. And he's tripped up right there. And that will be a penalty. And it's going all the way to GAC. So very slightly dangerous, I'd say, situation right there. So you got to have those quick touches in this match. Quick touches, get the ball out of your out of your way right there and get it down the field. Because now we demolish some Olave working on the side. Takes a bump right there and it goes back to the Colts. And Trey's right there to give a touch over, but misses Cole Bryant. And it'll go back to the Colts here. Got to touch over to the side now. And now it's in the middle right here, so the Colts have a dangerous opportunity. And good little clear out right there. Good job checking. A little box out, if you will. Kind of standing in the way. And Parker Wagner's going to pick it up. And he'll send it down the field. So, so far in this match, it looks like the Spartans haven't been too aggressive offensively. They might be waiting for their window right here. It's been more the Colts trying to possess it on the Spartans' end. Ball's in the air. Dre coming with the header. Dre did a good job as one of our prefects this year, the admissions prefect. Good job by Dre as he's going to lean back here. A little header right there, go over to Jacquet. Cole's right there, it's a Cole world, and he's going to get the ball. Now Gonzalez is going to try and send over the Rosero, a little miscue right there, and knocking it back, and it should go the other way, and it will back to the Colts. And time on the clock with 36 36, exactly, 36 36 and counting in the first half. And the ball is put back in play here. And a header right back by the Colts, sitting back on their end. That was kind of off the neck right there. But it'll be out of play. Oh, actually, no, still in play, still in play. So the Blues part of the field still. Deflected off right there. Dre's going to have a header trying to get it out, trying to clear things out. And it's really just a bounce around game right now as good job by Joshua Gonzalez being physical right there, still being physical, trying to get to the, to the ball. And now they'll reset. The Colts will try to reset here. It's launched down the field. Oh, ball's missed right there, but Alex Gomez is right there to clean things up. Has a nice little angle, getting physical right there. Good job. And the ball's still up. It'll go back to the Colts, looks like. Yes, it will. So it'll be a throw in. Quick throw in, too, by that fact. So you have Mag Vargas working right there on defensively. A little pressure from the side. So both teams trying to feel each other out right here. Might be a lower scoring matchup, but not going off the, the pace of right now as the ball is locked down the field. Nice header by Dre Moxie. 
Back with JK putting pressure on there. Was held from Rosario on the side. Ball's out of play, but I'll stay with the Colts. Actually, no, I'll go back to the Spartans here. So Mac Vargas going to lead the way. It's kind of a one on five here, taking a lot of pressure from behind. And it'll be kicked out of play. So Spartans throwing kind of just sitting back defensively right here, but that might be the move right here in this situation as you're trying to field an opponent out and maybe get a goal on a breakaway. Now we'll throw in for the Colts. Going to do a little bounce around right here, and now it's back in play. Here to come the Colts. Deflect it up in the air. Yeah, here come the Colts. A little momentum right here. Cole Bryant putting a lot of pressure defensively, though. Broden, Broden, an excellent job by Cole Bryant, keeping his feet right there and deflecting that ball out of play. Or at least it's still in play, I should say, but out of the way. And Dream Ox is going to try and clear it out there. That's over to Justin Moore. He's going to get it down the field. Finds Mac Vargas and can the Spartans count right here? Here they go. Trying to find. Oh, ball's a little behind right there, but Walker Lewis in the right place at the right time. And the header's over the show. Oh, almost a handball right there, but all the same. they will go back to the Colts. Ball's a little bit behind right there, but the Colts are able to get possession right back. So Spartans had a slight opportunity right there. Couldn't get out on the break. And it's going to go out to Dre Moxie. He comes up to pursue the ball, but now the Colts get under it. And Walker loses right there, so is Dre. Good touch by Dre. Walker's right there as well. Walker's going to just clear it out, get it out of play, and the Colts will have a throw in. And so with 33 minutes exactly, 33 minutes and counting, in the first half, the Spartans are in a nice contest here as the ball is caught by Parker Wagner beautifully. Still 0-0. Parker looking for an outlet right here. He's just going to loft it down the field. Beautiful kick right there. And so here come the Colts. So once again, the Cahola Creek Colts, they're in navy blue. Spartans are in white. The Great Atlanta Christian Spartans. And a little slip right there. And can the Spartans get under it? And oh, almost did it with Gonzalez. But beautiful job of the Colts getting back under that ball. Preventing a potential outlet, outlook, I should say, or outlet to the yes parties. I was thinking of our email address, Outlook. And here come the Colts, though. And the ball's out of play, and it'll still be on the Colts' side. So the Colts have had possession for most of the first half so far. And now they have an angle, trying to find a will and a lane, but it's deflected right back, but right back to the shooter. And Parker Wagner's going to scoop that ball right out. Lost a little momentum on the way in. So good about Parker Wagner, facing a little pressure early on, but he's able to manage it. And the ball's sent in play. A little header goes over the head. And out of play, so it should be Spartans' possession. So we won the first time the Spartans can actually run an actual set on this side of the field with 31 minutes, 31 minutes and 40 seconds in counting in the first half. Over throw in for GAC on the side. And they lob it into play here, uh, intercepted by the Colts. Let's see if Cole Bryant can get underneath it. And the Colts get possession right back. Let's see if they're trying to press up the field or if they're just trying to maintain. And they'll just maintain for right now. Well, actually, no. Now they're going to press down the field. Ball's controlled in. You got Jack Rosero right there. Putting a little pressure on. Also Gonzalez in the way. Middle stop stopping the dime. Cut back right there. And here come the Colts. Beautiful lead but pass right there. Spartans going to be ready on defense right here, and they do a good job getting back. So they're not committing too many men forward right here. They're trying to keep everybody back, trying to keep everybody for the Colts in front. Make them work offensively. And beautiful clear out right there by Cole Bryant. Bounces right to Walker Lewis, and let's see if the Spartans, actually Josh Gonzalez, excuse me. Let's see if Josh can initiate the counter as he's getting hit from behind, and it's knocked out of play, but it'll stay with GAC here. So both teams trying to just stop him and him here. Trying to not have any leak outs right here and literally really make both teams execute as well. As it's thrown in Beckham JK. He finds Cole Bryant. Cole Bryant dancing, moving those quick feet. And a little, little traffic right here. And Josh Gonzalez is able to get out of it, but it looks like it's gonna be a penalty on him. A little hook right there. And I'll go back to the Colts.
about 30 minutes exactly, 30 minutes on the clock in the first half. Spartans tied here, 0-0. Zero, zero. The nil-nil, as someone said. And the ball's put in play. There you go, Mac Vargas trying to turn the corner right there. Physical check, and it'll go the other way to the Colts. Mac doesn't like the call, but all of a sudden the Colts will have possession. And Spar is going to look alive right here as now the Colts have possession here with an unchecked man trying to get it inside of the box. And there's a window. There's a lane. But it looks like Alex Gomez is able to get under it. He's able to, oh, she keeps it in play back to the Colts. They let it go right there. And Cole Bryant says, oh, let me just clear that thing right out of here. And let's get reset on defense and communicate. You see Justin Moore and Alex Gomez talking to each other saying, hey, who's got who? Who's matched up where? So the Spartans are trying to find a man here. And the Colts have a window. Oh, oh, a good little pass over on the side. But excellent job by Walker Lewis right there. Beautiful job getting it out of play. Now Mac Vargas is going to lead the pack for GAC. Gets over to Walker once again. Walker's going to try and lead Josh Gonzalez down the field. And it's a sprint right here. Can Josh get to it? He's able to. If he gets back to the middle, he'll have a person. Oh, Josh is able to get under the ball, though. On the side, working on the side. But the Colts are able to get right back underneath it. But Josh is trying to use that strength. So there's speed for the Colts. But Josh has got some strength. And stops on the dime. Cuts back. And Josh deflects the ball, though. Right into the Colts goalie's hands. And now the Colts are trying to have a little counter right here. Pressure from behind. Gets it right back to Beckham Jaquette, though. Beckham trying to find someone to get to. And Dre Mox is going to launch it down the field. And Demol Salami will have a touch right here. Demol trying to go upfield right there, but it knocked out of play. But it'll be a throw in for GAC. Beautiful form keep by the photographer getting over to Justin Moore. And the Spartans will have a throw in with 27 minutes, just under 20, or actually, sorry, 27.50 on the clock, 27.50 on the clock. And counting. Good little touch over by Dre Boxy. The Colts trying to get underneath it, and it's knocked off, and we'll go off to the side. So here's some Tuesday night semifinal action here. And here's a nice little touch over here. Here come the Spartans. Ah, but the Colts get right underneath it. Rosario had a shot at that. Gonzalez, actually now it's over to Cole Bryant. And it's going to be lofted into play, but it'll be picked up right there by the goalie for the Colts. So, so far, scoreless action right here as we're approaching the 27 minute mark. The 27 minute mark, we're approaching that. Good header right there. Now, Jacay's got a touch, trying to find Cole Bryant. Cole flicks it back up in the air. Gomez has it up in the air as well. Damola has it now, facing a double team. So they're seeing a lot of pressure to Damola's side whenever he gets a touch. Dre Mox is able to put it right back in play, though, on the side. So it's a back and forth volleyball affair right now. Dre's able to clear things out right there, but the Spartans have to get reset and find a man on defense. As the Colts are going to be pressing forward here. Headed by Walker Lewis. Now it's back to Dre. Oh, actually, Dre puts it back in play. But beautiful job by Alex Gomez. Locked now right back down the field, giving the Spartans an open opportunity to get reset and rematched up on defense. A little hesitation right there. And it's intercepted by DeMolo. Can he get a touch in? Oh, just deflected off. Let's see if Walker Lewis can clean things up. And he's able to beautifully. He's down the field, but it's going right back to the Colts. Rosero some pressure on. And here come the Colts. Trying to hesitate right there. Stopping a dime. And it'll be out of play, and it will be. So they ran out of play right there. It'll go back to the Spartans here. There's certainly a feeling out process early in this game. Both teams kind of committing defensively right here, not trying to give up that early goal. But all the same, no damage on the board. 25-50 and counting in the first half. And ball's put in play here. Intercepted nicely by Joshua Gonzalez. He's going to turn around and face, trying to find Mac Vargas down the field. Headers right back to the Spartans, though. Justin Moore's underneath it, trying to get it down the field. Gets over to DeMolo on the side. Let's see if he can get a little touch here and get going, get some momentum going. They've done a good job of keeping DeMolo really from getting any momentum going forward. However, here comes Mac Vargas with the ball in the middle, facing pressure. Ball's put in play. DeMolo passes it just up. And now the Colts are trying to counter. They have to look, eh, it's about even numbers here, but all the same. Spartans would like to try and get it at advantage here. And Gomez will put it up in the air. On the ground, on the ground. Good header right there. Oh, physical play, there's a header, and 
I think it was incidental contact all the same, but we'll have a time. We'll, we'll see what happens here on the clock. Clock's going to continue to roll as a player for the Colts hit his head. He appears to be okay. He sits up a little bit. And it's going to be a yellow card. The yellow card to Alex Gomez. Both players are going for the ball, but the referee ruled that the contact is going to warrant a yellow. So we'll have Greg Logan come up to the Spartans. And Alex will take a seat. Tough loss for GAC defensively. However, Greg Logan, Greg Logan has had a lot of time on the field. So the Spartans had a lot of injuries early in the season, which kind of correlates with their rough start. They had an 0-5 and 1 start, and they were 1-7 and 1. A lot of injuries, different lineups in, the, in play. But all the same, a lot of guys did get time because of that and experience. So Greg Logan, Logan, excuse me, Greg Logan was able to come in to the Spartans, and he played earlier this year, and he's in this situation right now in the semifinals. Now the ball's in play right here, but the Spartans should be able to clear this thing out. DeMaul gets underneath it, but it's lost the back in by the Colts. Headers up in the air, got to clear things out, though. Ball's on the ground. Cole Bryant flicks up in the air. Now to Greg Logan, freshly off the bench. And Greg's going to try and turn the corner, taking a little bump on the side. And he'll go back to the Colts here. And facing a triple team right here, but here come the Colts. Trying to find a lane. Trying to get it inside. They do have an inside in the box. Here they go. Going to get an angle. As Beckham J.K. is putting a nice pressure on right here. And the Colts are going to try and turn around, face up, rematch. And Mag Fargo is going to deflect it up in the air. And the ball is put in play here. It's going to be lofted right past the goal right there, out of play. So no damage done. And it looks like Greg Logan is going to take a seat. And we'll have Alex Gomez back in. And that's with 24 minutes. 24 minutes exactly left in the first half. Still tied nil-nil. 0-0. Zero, zero. Here goes Park Wagon putting it in play. Josh Gonzalez is back with the Spartans. Mac Vargas trying to get underneath it. And Max able to intercept that pass. Dancing, dancing. Looking for a lane. Finds Cole Bryant. Cole's going to loft it down trying to find Gonzalez. But the Spartans aren't really committing to attacking. But Josh Gonzalez is, though, and he gets underneath the ball. Here we go. Can we get some help? Goes over to Jamal Salami. Salami's got a lane. He's in the middle. He's trying to find a lane. Oh, deflected out of play. But all the same, beautiful job there by the Spartans taking advantage of that opportunity. And now they'll have an easier shot. So it'll be a corner for GAC. And so it'll be a corner for GAC with about 23 minutes. 23 minutes left in the first half. So these opportunities, these set plays right here, these could be the advantages, the moments where the Spartans can strike. As the, as the defense for the Colts and also for GAC has been really tough in this first half. Ball's been played by Rosero. It's in, it's in. And he's going to loft over Alex Gomez's head. He's able to track it down, though. He gets a touch over. Oh, he's going to turn around and face up, excuse me. It'll be knocked out of play where it will stay. It should stay with GAC, and it will. So a throw in for the Spartans. Under 23 minutes now, under 23 minutes. And they'll take their time on the throw. So they'll have Mac Vargas throwing it in for GAC. They're trying to find Josh Gonzalez, who faces an immediate double team. And it'll sit down here with GAC, though, off the deflection. So those sudden double teams have really been effective right here for the Colts. So Josh Gonzalez, Demola Salami, they both been double teamed quite efficiently and often throughout this game earlier on as soon as they get the touch. So the Spartans may have to find another avenue to open things up for the, those two players. And here comes a corner kick here. Ball's lofted in play right in the middle, but it's going to be headed out by the Colts, and they'll sail out of bounds. They'll be a throw in for GAC. And now we're at the 22 minute mark, the 22 minute mark in the first half. Here comes the throw in. Finds Gonzalez, lofts it in there, deflected a little bit, trying to get to it. Josh is. Can Josh find a will? Can he find a lane? Mag Vargas in there as well, and Josh can turn around, has the ball now. Facing pressure immediately, Cole Bryant's in there as well, so is Josh. And the ball still on the ground. Cole Bryant's got an angle. Two Spartans in the same spot. Here we go. Alex Gomez has a little. Oh, he gets tripped up right there. And they're going to call it right there. There you go. LBI in the box right there. Beautiful play right there. Beautiful physical play. Cole Bryant, Demola Salami. Also, Alex Gomez being physical, using that size to their advantage right there for the Spartans. That occurs at 21 37. That penalty at 21 37. That's in the first half. And the clock will stop right here. So we'll have a free kick. Or a penalty kick. So one on one right here. And it's in for a goal of the Spartans. Demola Salami right there puts it in for the Spartans. And they take a 1-0 lead with 21-37 left in the first half. 
Spartans take advantage of the pivot right there and capitalize with Demola Salami putting in the goal. So just like that, it's going to beat the struggle the entire first half, but GAC is able to get a goal on the board thanks to the penalty, and the Spartans are up on the road here in the Final Four. And the Colts aren't exactly happy with the call right there. As that is a game changer as both teams are pretty much equal defensively, really putting pressure on, on both sides. And so the Colts will put it in play here, and the clock will start once the ball is kicked. It's currently stopped at 21-37, 21-37. Also shout out to my partner Jerry Hill, who's back home keeping track of the other scores. Westminster and Oconee, they kick off at 7 o'clock, and he'll keep us updated on those scores. As the ball is put in play and knocked out by Dre Moxie, so... Spartans up 1-0 here, but have to take advantage right here of the lead and stay strong defensively as the Colts will try and answer as there's a little slipper here on the on the throw-in. And the ball is put in play, deflected up, can then clear it out, and they're able to. And two Spartans in the same spot, and now the ball is able to get underneath, underneath it. And he tries to loft to the head, and here comes the Spartans. Got Mac Vargas right there just in case, but it's cleared out by the goalie for the Colts. Cole Bryant's going for the header, lofts it up in the air. And Jackson was there, tries to get underneath it. And Walker, Lew oh sorry, Doug Beckham, Jake, excuse me, gets over to Gomez. Gomez faces some pressure right here. It's gonna be lofted back down the field. Dre Mox using that height, so the Spartans actually have the size and the height advantage. I might give the speed a little tip of the cap to the Colts there. However, the Spartans do have the size and the height advantage. And beautiful slide right there. Walker Lewis doing work right there, and might be injury time out potentially, but he appears to be okay for the Colts. Just a tough hit right there, but beautiful clean play. And we'll throw in for the Colts. A little hesitant move right there, a little hesitation, pump fake. Now it's a play. And up in the air, up in the air. Okay, Miss Barnes clear things out. Here come the Colts, have an angle. Trying to find a lane. Trying to turn the corner, loft it up in there. And good, great, great job by Parker Wadding getting up there, skying that ball and clearing things out right there. Don't wait for the ball to come to you, go to the ball. Boom, down the field is Parker Wagner. On the ground, Mac Vargas with a slide stop right there. Almost at a split up midfield. And Max able to get underneath it. And now it's back to the Colts. Cole Bryant with a touch over to the side. Rosero stops on the dime. Or defensively, I should say, slides out there. Tries to stop the defender on a dime. And here come the Colts. Well, I'll say Drake Moxie's right there, right there, kicks it out of play. So it'll be throwing for the Spar or sorry, for the Colts, excuse me, but all the same. Good job now the Spartans get set defensively. And a very aggressive throw into the middle right here. It's up in the air and oh, almost tipped in right there. Dangerous play right there, but Parker Wagon's on one right now. Good job by him. And the Demol Salami now has the ball. Good touch ahead to himself. Gonna try and find Mac Vargas. Here you go, here come the Spartans here. Max got a lane, trying to find Josh Gonzalez. He slips though. But all of a sudden, Jackson Rosero is able to get to, to the Spartans. And here they come. Now Mac Vargas has a touch in the middle. Lost it over to Demola. Demola's trying to get it underneath it on the side. Working, working, dancing. Finds an angle, tries to shoot it in, deflected by the goalie, but it's on the ground right here. Cole Bryant comes into play, but also is cleared out by the Colts. A beautiful defensive job of the goalie for the Colts right there. Took her cap over there. And here comes the counter for the Colts. And Beckham Chiquet pursuing. Alex Gomez is there as well. Dre oh, here's a touch ahead. Here come the Colts on the one on one. Can they get it in? There's an angle, there's no goalie in there. And it's in for a goal. This game is tied. So Spartans committed defensively trying to come up and stop the ball. Parker Wagner came out of the goal as well. And now it's tied at 1-1 right here. So just like that, in the last couple minutes, we've had two couple goals here. So it's 1-1 with 18-39. 18-39 left in the first half. Tie game here, folks. They call the semifinals for a reason here. It's not going to be easy. So that play in transition right there. Spartans had an opportunity to go right there. Couldn't convert. And then it came right back down on the counter. And the Colts were able to capitalize. I mean, GAC faithful are saying, let's go Spartans here. Get a GAC chant going here. All the way up here in Dalton, Georgia. Now Mac Vargas has a touch. And then Rosero has a touch as well. But here come the Colts once again. So the Spartans have to get back defensively and really commit here. Maintain their focus as they don't want to go down 2-1 to one here in this first half. And the Colts are dancing, dancing, trying to find a lane. Can they, there you go. Just clear out of play. That's the easiest way to do it. Balls in the air. Gonzalez is going for it, but they deflect it out. And the Spartans will have to throw in now. As they're approaching under 18 minutes, under 18 minutes. Less than the first half. Game's tied, 1-1. One, one. Here comes the throw in. Oh, 
Spartans kind of getting back defensively here. Getting back to their sets, trying to match up here as Mac Vargas is going to probe around. Gomez with a header. A little pressure here for GAC, but here come the Colts trying to break that press. And the ball's ahead, but here comes the speed for the Colts, so we have to watch out for that for GAC. And the Colts are able to try and get under, but Justin Moore is able to track things down. And in case of right to a Colt, though, he's going to angle. He's going to try to find a lane. And it's in for another goal, just like that. So things have broken down for GAC as the Colts have had two goals in almost less than two minutes here in this game. As it was 17-16, the Colts are now up 2-1 here in the semifinal. So a little breakdown right here, trying to clear things out. Spartans have to try and get things out of play as quick as possible right here instead of kicking around right in front of the goal. So all the same, Spartans fell down 2-1 here early in this game. But there's still time to rally for GAC. Still time to rally. He's got to clean things up. And the whole team's talking right now discussing, hey, what are we going to do defensively? So uh, crazy sequence of events here as the Spartans were up 1-0 not too long ago. And then now it's 2-1 Colts here on the road. So Kaholi Creek right here doing a good job taking the lead here at home. And the Spartans have been on the road the entire postseason. We'll have to answer once again. And Vargas puts the ball into play. Cole Bryant's got a touch. Finds Damola. So the Spartans here can't really think too far ahead. Just gotta get, hey, we've got to work to get one goal here, tie things up if possible. Slide on the side right here. And it'll go over to the Colts. A little touch back. A little hesitation right there. DeMaul's putting pressure on the side. And so we'll see what, what adjustments may either, either may, need to be made for the Spartans or if it's more of just execution and communication as well. And Cole Bryant with a beautiful slide right there. Back Vargas intercepts that. Trying to find, here we go, Gonzalez on the side, Josh, but it's going to go back to the Colts here. Now the headers in play. And trying to find a lane here, trying to get it to DeMola, he turns around, faces up. DeMola trying to go, really he's facing a slight double team on the side, he needs to come back to the middle if possible. And it's turned right back over here. And here come the Colts. And a little bump right there, no call. So the the Spartans will continue with possession here. DeMola trying to loft it ahead right there, trying to get it to, oh, to Gonzalez, but he gets tripped up right there with the goalie. Beautiful play with the goalie coming out of the goal right there. So that worked for the Colts' favor, didn't work for the Spartans' favor on the other end. And it's still, it's still excuse me, at 2-1. It's still 2-1 here with 15-50 and counting in the, in the first half. Ball on the ground here. JK gets it over to Bryant. Touch over to Rosero. Over to Mac Vargas, and Mac's trying to turn around and face. Max going ahead, gets knocked down for a second, but it goes over to Gonzalez, so the Spartans have a lane, he got to commit here offensively. And really, uh, Gonzalez stopped right there, now it's back to Gonzalez. He's got one-on-one -on -one here, if he wants it. Tries to get a touch over, trying to work in the lane, find a final lane, fits the whole really quadruple team right there. Now Rosero has a touch, and it's knocked out of play. And so we have a throw for GAC. Vargas with a touch, based on physical check from behind. And I'll stay with GAC here, though. With 14.56, 14.56 in county in the first half. Spartans down 2-1 to the Colts of Cahola Creek. Live here in Dalton, Georgia. Not too far from Chattanooga. Now we'll have a kick in here. And it's up in the air. There's a little window. Can Vargas get under it? Oh, it's deflected out beautifully right there. But the Spartans may have a chance of getting back under it. It's kicked back in play here. And the Colts are going to clear things out. They're able to. Lewis going to send it back, trying to find JK. And Beck was on the side right here. And we'll stay in play. And it will. And here comes the counter. Oh, but it's right there. Cleared out of play beautifully right there by Alex Gomez. Good job by him. But it'll be a throw for the Colts all the same. However, Jackson Rosero's got something to say about that. And the Colts will take their timer here, getting it in. Taking a physical check right there. And here come the Colts, trying to loft the hit. Dre Box is trying to clear things out. And Jackson's going to loft it down, trying to find DeMola, but it's intercepted by the Colts. And they'll try to keep possession here and push it down the field. Nice little touch in the middle right here. Still going for the Colts, still going. 
We're about 13-30, 13-30, reigning the first half, and the Colts are trying to get another goal on the board right here. And the shot goes, but it goes right to Parker Wagon. And I think Coach Shakay wants to push it down the field. You got Demol Salami right down the field, but it's going to go to the opposite side and kicked out of play. Had Demol down the field streaking open right there, but it'll go back to the Colts here as the ball bounced out of bounds. A little, little pump thing right there on the throwing. Got you leaning. And the Colts will wait, they'll wait, and they'll finally throw it in. But it should go right to the Spartan, and it will. Now Cole Bryant has it. Gets back to Parker Wagner. Parker slips on the kicker in there, but he still gets down the field all the same. Taking a bump from behind. Now Walker Lewis gets underneath it. Now JK has it. Going to loft it down, trying to find Jamola. And here comes Colts. Getting it back to the middle. Trying to find a lead. Oh, the ball is led right ahead. But Parker's right there in the right place at the right time and clean things up. Trying to get it to Demolo. He's got to come back to the ball, though. As now it's right back to the Colts. As far as their defensive, but all of a sudden the Colts, you don't want to give them another angle. And now they're in the middle right here. Have a lane, but it's afflicted out right there by Dre Moxie. A little frustration from GAC saying, hey, you got to come up and get the ball right there. I'll say. Physical battle by Cole Bright on the side. Oh, the Colts are going to turn around and find, find, find a corner. Beckham Jacquet right there and uses his body to steal that ball away. It's lofted in. Dre Moxie with a beautiful header right ahead. He's not hiding it to his advantage. Ball's on the ground right here. Good pressure right there by Rosero. Rosero's fighting for it. Fighting for it. Goes out of play, but it should save with the Colts, and it will. And now the ball's back in play here. And it's going to GAC now. So can the Spartans get an answer here before intermission right here? As it's 2-1 Colts with 11 minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half. 11-30 left in the first half. And the header's in play right here. Alex is right there in the right place. Gets Demola on the side. He leads over trying to find Gonzalez. Gonzalez uses his body right there, but it actually gets touched back to Demola. Here he comes. Gets by the defender right there. Has a lane. Can he sit in and get slide taken from behind right there? And no call, no call. So it'll stay in the ground. Oh, there's a physical check. Got, uh, Josh Gonzalez does. Still in play right here. And the Colts are able to take advantage. And they're trying to counter right here. They may have numbers if they can get under it. Oh, Dre Boxy misses the ball right here. And here come the Colts. They have an angle. Can Dre get to the ball? It's one on one. Good job of Dre tracking that thing down. Parker's on the side as well. It'll be knocked out of play here. And looks like it'll save the Colts. Here comes the throw and They're going to try and get back quick. Spartans able to get reset though. Excellent play by Dre getting back under it after missing the ball. And the ball's locked up in the air. Should go out of play. Actually, it'll stay in play right here. And now it's uh, still in play. And now it's out. Okay. Here comes the throw in. We're at 10-30. 10-30 left in the first half. Here comes Walker Lewis. He's going to let the ball fly, fly, sail out of bounds. They'll go back to GAC here. Try to find Vargas on the side. It's deflected inbound. Saved by the Colts. As the sun kind of comes out a little bit more here. And it goes over to Rosero. Here they go. Oh, it'll, it'll go back to the Colts, actually. Foul on the play. With under 10 minutes, under 10 minutes remaining here in this first half, the Colts are up 2 to 1. GEC at the first goal of the game, scored by Demolo Salami. And the Colts have responded with two quick goals to take the lead. Now the ball's put back in play here. JK defending one on one right here. And the Colts turn the corner, try to get a shot in, but it's right down to Parker Wagon. He's gonna loft it down the field. It's gonna float up in the air, sky up in the air. And Josh Gonzalez trying to get underneath here for GAC. He's got an angle, finds Demola on the side if he wants him. But it'll go back the other way as there's a bump by Gonzalez. And it'll go back to the Colts here. So advantage taken away for GAC. And they're going to reset the ball here. It's a clock and tune. So actually, yeah, we'll keep rolling here. Exactly at the nine-minute mark. We have nine minutes remaining in the first half. The Colts will have possession right here. Just put in play here. Alex with a header. Now J.K. gets underneath it for GAC. Takes a bump from the side. And ball's in play here. Mag Fargo's trying to get underneath it. 
Him and Gonzalez save it and keep it in play. They're going to work it around here. Gomez has a touch. Tries to get over DeMole on the side. Getting DeMole cut back to the middle. He's dancing, trying to get up the sideline now, and here he goes. Does he have any help? He's going to try and commit forward. Deflected beautifully, though, by the Colts. Cole Bryant with a nice touch right there. Crab wants a handball. They don't get it. Cole Bryant's going to loft it in here, trying to find Gonzalez. Oh, but offsides right there, so. Now we're hitting the eight-minute mark. Eight-minute mark left in the first half. Coahola Creek is up 2-1. Two 2-1, to one. Two to one, the Colts have a lead. And after falling down 1-0, the Colts have to be happy with two quick goals right there. To retake the lead, but all the same, the Spartans are trying to answer before intermission if possible. As Justin Moore is trying to get underneath it, trips up. Beautiful job getting it back in play, though. And it bounces off Jake, but the Colts will have the possession right here on this end. Spartans going to match up here, get on a man. And they're going to try to clear things out. Now, it's pretty much one on five at this point. The ball is locked up in the air, but it's going to go wide of the mark. And it should go GEC's well, way, and it will. And Wagner puts the ball in play. Got to touch over to the side right here. Gonzalez putting pressure on to flex the ball briefly. Moore is trying to get to it, but it'll be knocked out. And it should go to the Colts, and they will have a throw in here. Nice touch over, but Gomez is able to get underneath it. Trying to get to Justin Moore, but can't find him. Good job by Gomez moving his feet right there defensively. Staying active, staying active. And the ball's in play, but it gets Patrick K right here. Got a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He wants him. Needs some help. And it's in for a goal. So just like that, the Colts have ripped up three straight goals after the Spartans scored early, making it 1-0. Now it's 3-1 with 635 left, 635 left in the first half. The Colts have had a flurry of goals right here, working that on the Spartans defensive end right there. And the Colts have answered wonderfully after the GC Spartans took a 1-0 lead. So all the same, Spartans need to try and get an answer here. Got to keep their heads high, keep working hard here on the road. But all the same, a dominant end of this first half by the Colts. And Cole Bryant with a touch. Justin Moore lost it down the field, trying to find Gonzalez if he can get to it. But the Colts are able to get underneath it. So the Spartans need one break right here, one break if possible to get something on the board for halftime. Just out of the Colts have scored off some miscues. Spartans might be able to do the exact same. We had a couple opportunities early in this first half, we weren't able to capitalize. Yeah, as we're approaching under six minutes here in the first half, under six minutes. Walker, the touch over to Cole Bryant, trying to get to him. And here come the Colts now. So Spartans really, if you can't get a possession on the offense end, just got to focus on defense right here. As they try and clear it out here, but it's going to stay down. It should be deflected off a of Colt, though. It should go back to GAC. Yes, it will. Spartans have a throw in. But bare minimum, got to hunker down defensively here. You can't allow another goal before intermission. Now throw and goes straight to the Colts. You got to touch over this side. And the Colts are working it now. So also you want to get the home team. You know, when you're on the road here, you can't let the home team really get in their groove and their rhythm. And that should stay down with the Colts, and it will. A guy trying to disrupt that rhythm. And then early in the game, the Spartans able to do that. But now the Colts are comfortable. So gc has got to adjust here as Moore clears it out, knocks it out of play. For that quick throw in right there. Going to lob it in, but it's going to go up for a good field goal. It's good for three points, but not for one point right there. With five minutes, under five minutes now. And Parker sends it down the field. And Cole Bryant trying to come, actually Josh Gonzalez, excuse me, trying to get back to the ball. Physical play right there on the side, but Walker Lewis is in the right place at the right time, as usual. Now reserve with the touch on find Vargas. Gets over to Dre Moxie. Dre touches over to the side of Walker. And nice slide right there. So we're just working it back and forth now. Dre's going to loft him down the field. Trying to find Demola. And they're going to knock it around, trying to keep it away from Demola. Really a little game to keep away. And we loft him down the field and cleared out right there. 
but let's see. Yeah, it'll be knocked out of play. So they'll have a throw in right here for the Colts. As far as they can match up defensively, they're going to try and turn around and face and loft it in, but it's going to be off the mark right there. With under four minutes, under four minutes left in the first half, the Colts are up 3 1. The Colts are up 3 1. Coahola Creek did a good job coming back from a 1 0 deficit as the Spartans scored the first goal off a penalty kick right there as Demola Salam kicked it in for one goal right there. And a flurry of Colts goals responded right after that, and now they're up 3 1. But Cole Bryan's going to try and get a Demola here if he stays on side, and he looks like he's able to, so he's got an angle. Trying to get back to the middle right there. He's going to loft off the post on the back side. And it looks like the Colts will have possession. And I'll stop things. We're going to have a substitution here. We will. We have Joey Thompson coming in for Jackson Rosero. And the clock stopped at 317 for temporarily. Now it's back in action here for the substitution. So we're about at the three minute mark. Cole Bryant gets a touch over to Vargas. And Mac faces pressure from behind. And Max able to intercept that ball right just like that. Two Spartans converge, but a Colt comes out with it. Mac lofts it down the field. Finds Joey Thompson. Gonzalez battling for it, trying to use his physicality right there to get underneath that ball. And he turns the corner and tries to get to it. Physical checks on the side right there, and we'll see where it goes. So it'll go back to the Colts. You know, the two, th two minutes and 30 seconds left, two minutes and 30 seconds left. And Gomez lofts it up, tries to find Cole Bryant. Cole's able to get it underneath it, turns around and faces. Spartans can't clearly get possession, but Joey's able to get under underneath it now. Two Spartans in the same spot. Gonzalez gets it over to Joey Thompson. Joey's facing some pressure right here, stays with it, but the Colts are able to come out with it. And now the Colts are trying to press here. At about two minutes, two minutes left in the first half. And they gotta put some pressure on the ball here. Can't get the Colts, can't give the Colts another goal, but a little miscue right there is a blessing for the Spartans. As the ball's knocked out of play, turnover right there, and Walker Lewis with a quick throw in right here, trying to find Gonzalez. He faces a slide tackle from behind, and that'll be Pilney right there. So a foul. And the ball's put in play, but it goes right to the Colts though. Demol putting pressure from behind, trying to get back to the ball. And here come the Colts. Working it now, about under 130, under 130 left in the first half. Got to clear things out for the Spartans, and here come the Colts have an opportunity of a lane, trying to find a window, and it's in for a goal, just like that, making it 4-1 GAC. So a little miscommunication on defense right there, and now it's 4-1 Spartans. With 117, 117 remaining in the first half, the Spartans fell down 4-1 right there. As the Colts will be able to counter right there and catch the Spartans in transition, with a slight miscommunication on defense and a certain occurrences, and they're able to capitalize each and every time and get a couple goals. So you have to tip your cap to the Colts at certain points when they capitalize on any mistakes right there. But the Spartans have to keep battling right here. That really shows your testament. You got to keep battling here. And it only takes one. You get that first one, and you just start chipping away. Now Salam is going to try and send it in right here. Then we locked it back down right there by Vargas. And right now, Joey Thompson's trying to pursue, but it's going to be knocked out of play. So we'll save the Spartans here. And we're under a minute, under a minute. Got to hustle here, get the ball back in play. Pretty much every minute counts down, down three goals. So clock's running here at 46 seconds and counting. Here come the Spartans with the throw in. Try and lob it in right here. And we knocked out of play. It stays back with GAC, though. So we got to get the ball, if possible. Or a new ball, at least. There you go, we have a new ball, new ball. No, no, no. There you go. So Justin Moore is going to throw it in here. Under 30 seconds now. Ball's knocked around here. Got the Spartans to get to it. Trying to turn around and face. Got a lane, knocked out of the ground. And now the Colts have possession here. So we're under 20 seconds now. Walker's going to get underneath it. And Gomez is going to get a touch over to Cole Bryant. Back to Gomez, to the referee. And now we're under 8 seconds, 7 seconds. Six, five, four, and it should be the half right there, and it will be, so 
after one half a play, the Spartans get a goal early on a PK to Demol Salami. He scores a goal. But after that, a flurry of Colts goals makes it 4-1. Four 4-1 to one. Four to one to Holy Creek High School here after one half a play. So Spartans down 4-1. We'll need to go to the locker room to get some answers right here. But all the same, tough break for the Spartans after a start, strong start. So we'll see what happens after that intermission break. We'll be right back after this break.
All right, so the second half is about to begin. 40 minutes from the clock. Both teams are back on the field now. So the Spartans trail the Coahola Creek Colts here, 4-1 to one in the second out of the game of the second half. So Spartans scored a goal early. We're just tuning in. Demola Salami with a goal and a penalty kick right there. But all the same, the Colts answered right back. So the first 20 minutes, defense a struggle. Both teams are going back and down the field, really, but they couldn't muster anything. Good job at both back lines, really setting in and being physical. And then all of a sudden, when it rains and pours, and although there's clear skies here, and the Colts made it rain for a couple possessions right there and got four goals in a row to take the lead right back. So the Spartans really got to maintain communication on defense, make sure everyone's positioned in the right spots, and just keep fighting. You never know that first break's going to come through here. So we'll see what both teams adjust to, and we'll get into the second half as there's a touchover by Cole Bryant with the Colts going underneath it. Double throw in here. Ball's knocked around. And here come the Colts, just like that. Pushing the pace, using that speed, getting around the corner. And they're going to stop on a dime and wait, hesitate, wait, wait, wait. You got Alex Gomez defending right there. Beautiful job right there, and it's on the ground right there. Still in play, still in play by the Colts. They'll have a window. So the Spartans trying to set in defensively right here. The Colts definitely have a lot of speed on the field. It's definitely helped them out. As the Spartans get a possession right back, can they counter? That's going to be key here. And it's knocked right back by the Colts. Mac Vargas trying to get underneath it, but it's in for an extra point, but unfortunately not for a goal. As the ball goes through the goal post right there, and the Spartans will have possession right back. So you got to keep fighting. That's the name of the game here. The Spartans keep fighting here. It's 4 1. You can't get three goals in one possession, but you can get one and just start chipping away. And now the Colts have possession. Are not going to actually the sorry the Spartans are not going out of play, so we'll go back to the Colts here. And the Spartans trying to get underneath the ball, can't do it. Jacques defending. Gonzalez stops, start right there, and the Colts will have possession right here. So a little touch right there by Cole Bryant. Let's see if Walker Lewis can get underneath it. He's able to, but it goes right back to the Colts here. You know, can't turn the ball over from their own goal. That's really the key here. As now the Colts are going around. Trying to find a lane, nice little touch over there. Just left it off the mole right there. It's still on the ground though. Colts have an angle. Cleared out beautifully by Gomez. And it's still in play here. And it's going to be locked down the field. But it'll be out of play. Back to the Colts. So the Colts aren't sitting, resting on their laurels. They're definitely ready to go here in the second half. Pushing the pace. A little bump right there. And it'll go to the Colts on the foul. Claus is at, sorry, excuse me. The clock is at 37 15 counting. 37 15 counting. I'm going to give a shout out to the Spartan Faithful fans that came out here to Dalton, Georgia. And we're waiting for the kick in to play. The Colts will have possession here. A little fake right there. It's going to be lofted in. A wide of the mark, however, so it'll go to GAC here. Give the Spartans muster an answer. Ball's put in play here. Trying to find Gonzalez on the side. And it'll go back to the Colts here. They're going to try and push the pace. That's the name of their game. Jacques able to get underneath it, though. And Beckham still in pursuit. But it's going to be lofted down. Still in play here. Colts are able to keep it in play. Trying to get it on the ground, and it's deflected with a beautiful save right there with Parker Wagon. Excellent job by Parker being in the right place and diving at the right time right there and getting to stop that goal. It's a beautiful play right there. Good, excellent setup by the Colts, but Parker Wagon's a little bit better on the play. Yeah, the Spartan trying to counter right here. Here they go. They got an angle. Trying to find a will, trying to find a lane. And they get it in, and it's deflected off the goal right there, and it's going to bounce out of play. But excellent job right there by pushing the pace. But that was just more right there, but... Beautiful deflection right there. So the Spartans did a good job of countering off that play after the Colts had a beautiful opportunity. So tip your cap to Parker Wagner and giving really the momentum there for GAC. And now the, the uh, Spartans, excuse me, will have a corner kick. And that occurs with 36 minutes, 36 minutes exactly on the clock here in the second half. Spartans down 4-1. Trying to cut it into this lead for the Colts. We'll have Cole Bryant sending in the corner. Cole's going to loft it into play. Over the offense there. DeMaul going to track it down. The Spartans. DeMaul facing a lot of He's facing pretty much five people on a side right here. And now the Colts are going to try and counter and push the pace. So they have a lot of speed. you got to be careful here. The Spartans doing a decent job getting back right here. 
And good job by Alex Gomez. Now Walker Lewis is going to put it down the field. Little header right there. Back to Mac Vargas in the middle. He gets over to Cole Bryant. Cole lost it down the field. And Moore is trying to track it down. And he's able to get underneath it briefly. Can he get the ball though? It's still on the ground, but it goes right to the goalie for the Colts. And that'll stop that drive for the Spartans. Now the Colts have possession once again, working it around. And it's deflected right there, so it goes right up to Cole Bryant, the Spartans. Go to Jackson Rosero, is back in. And the Spartans trying to push the pace a little bit more here in the second half down the field, but it goes to the goalie right there. And it's going to be sent into play here. Dre Moxie with a nice little header right there. Dre's able to get a leg under, under it. He needs a little help right there, and he gets it up the field. And Gonzalez is able to turn the face. Here come the Spartans. Trying to find Dabola Salami. Can he get underneath it? Can he get a touch? And it's still on the ground, but it rolls just with the goalie right inside the box right there. So the Colts will reset. But also, I like a little more aggression here for GAC. Pushing the pace. They need a couple goals on the board here to get back in this game, and they're definitely trying to do that here. As Josh Gonzalez is going for it, trying to have a physical check, and it's not going to play, but it'll go right back to the Spartans there. There you go. Make them feel you. That's kind of the name of the game right there. Be physical right there. And we need a ball in play here. The ball's loose. Shout out to the photographer right there, getting the ball right back. Walker's going to throw it in. And it'll be a stay in play here. Cole Bryant with a touch, trying to find Walker loose, and Walker's able to deflect it. But he's going to go right back to the Colts here. Cole with the header. Walker trying to get it underneath. They can't do it, so the Colts have possession. They're working their way down, throw in by throw in. Now it's back in play here. You gotta watch for that speed here, but excellent job by Alex right there. It's on the ground here. Gotta get a man on the ball. Good job by Mac Vargas getting on the, on the ball right there and clearing things out. We're gonna go right with the Colts here. And it's lofted into play. And it's gonna go the other way. Might have been handball right there, and it was. So with 33 minutes, 33 minutes exactly on the clock, Spartans down 4-1 as Parker Wagner puts it into play, launches it down the field. The header right back by the Colts. And trying to get to it off the Spartans. Mac Fargo trying to get to it, knocked down right there, and it'll go by the other way as Mac fell down on the play, so it got knocked down. So it'll turn around back to the GHC Spartans way as Cole's going to go quickly here. That's going to be the name of the game. That should be the name of the game for the Spartans here. Moving quick, but the ball goes to a Colt. Goes right back to Cole. Uh, he's going to be deflected up and handball, so he'll go right back to the Colts. Put the ball on the ground here. They're going to move. So both sides just moving quickly. The Colts are going to keep moving fast no matter the score here. That's probably their motto, their name of their game. And the ball is knocked out. Should go with the Colts here still. And yes, they'll have the ball in the throw in. And the ball's launched up and is out, out of the way, so no threat right there. With 32 minutes, 32 minutes exactly left in the game. Spartans down 4 1, need a goal here pretty soon just to kind of keep things within range. Moore trying to go for it for the Spartans, he gets over to Damola. Trying to find Gonzalez on a little tip, but it's cleared out by the Colts, but the Spartans will throw in on the opposite side now, so let's we'll see if they commit more, a little bit more offensively, although. They are doing a good job. I will say the Colts are sitting in the box, working, making it very hard for the Spartans to execute here offensively. They use their speed to get out on the break, and then they kind of commit defensively. So at speed, the defense needs the offense as they use their speed to get around here. And Demol is facing a triple team pretty much right now, so it's very hard for him to get anything going as well. Although he does have one goal in this matchup so far. So operating transition right, right there and capitalizing any defensive mistakes. That's really how the Colts have gotten most of their goals on the board. Got to tip your cap to their execution. However, the Spartans try to execute right here and get the ball in as they loft it up, loft it up, and it's on the back line, but it's going to be offside, looks like, and it'll go back to the Colts. As we're approaching 31 minutes now, 31 minutes left in the game. And the Colts send it in, loft it up in the air. And Dre Moxie's back, and send it back to Parker, though. And Parker lost it down. See if Josh can get underneath it. A little header back into the middle of the play here. DeMole gets it underneath it. Trying to go back to the middle here. Facing pressure. Gets it over to Moore on the side. But he's going to bounce out of play. And back to the Colts. And 
And we got Demol here defensively for the Spartans. Let's get Beckham Chicane in the area. Kind of lofted ahead. Here come the Colts, but Dre Mox is right there in the right place and clears it out. Can the Spartans keep it in play? And they're able to. Let's see. But the Colts get back underneath it for the moment, however, and they still have it now. Now the Colts have it once again, trying to reset here offensively, and they're going to push the pace as well. They don't stop. Uh, the ball is going to go through the whole entire field right there and get right to Parker Wagner. As we're under 30 minutes now, under 30 minutes left to play in the game. And here come the Colts. Cole Bryant putting pressure on. So is Mag Vargas as well. They kind of switch right there. And now the ball is in play, but it's going to bounce right to Parker Wagner. So the Colts are keeping Parker active. However, he's able to keep some, these goals off the board in the second half. But the ball is kicked right to the Colts right here. Colts trying to track things down. And it'll go back the Colts' way. Cole Bryant trying to pursue right there. Couldn't get to it. Cole with the physical check. Good job getting the ball out of play. And the ball will go to the Colts. Oh, sorry. The Spartans' way. Excuse me. So Cole will kind of walk things forward here, put the ball in play in a, in a moment. 4-1. Cole Hollow Creek right here. And Cole lofts the ball. Into play off of Gonzalez's chest, trying to get the ball in midair right there. And kick back out to Jackson Rosero. And the Colts are able to get to it. Let's see if they can stay with it. And Walker tries, oh, sorry, excuse me, Beckham J.K. tries to get to it. But the Colts will maintain possession here. So the Colts are able to answer some of the Spartans' attempts right here. And they're going to try and push the pace down the field. Good touch ahead right there. Spartans going to get back defensively here. And here come the Colts once again. And both players trying to pursue right there. Wadding comes out of the goal. It's still in play. It's still in play. Got to be cleared out here. But the Colts are have an opportunity. And it's going to be locked up in the air. Out of range right there. So a threat right there for the Colts. But they weren't able to get a goal on the board right there. Good hustle by the Spartans is going to be back defensively. And now we're under 28 minutes, under 28 minutes left, in, excuse me, under 28 minutes left in the game. Headed by the Colts. Let's put in the play right here. Mac Vargas in pursuit. So I'm going to have a bump right there. And Max able to do possession. Good job by Mac Vargas right there defensively. Andre Moxie on the side. going to bounce up in the air. But it'll be sent out of bounds, and I'll go to GAC here. And we'll have Walker Lewis with the throw in. Finds Gonzalez on the side, facing a triple team immediately. Trying to find Demolo, who's also double teamed as well. So, defensively, really, they're really stopping the Spartans from getting any pressure forward here as they're triple teaming and double teaming some of their attacking players here, Gonzalez and also Demolo Salami, as soon as they get a touch. Ball's not out of bounds by Gonzalez, so we'll go back to the Colts here. Here comes the throwing. It'll be lofted in the play right here. Dangerous situation, but the Spartans are able to get underneath it right here. Good job in the little box set by Gomez, and also good job by Parker Wagon getting underneath that ball. He's going to bounce around here. A little header, header, header. Triple threat. Now, uh, call triple threat right now. And balls on the ground. Here come the Colts, but Walker Lewis gets over there beautifully right there. Intercepts that play right there, trying to get it downfield, but it's going to stay in play. Off the deflection, and Walker's going to try again. A little header by back Vargas. Still on the ground here, but the Colts have possession right back, and they're trying to work in the middle now. Trying to find a lead through ball right there, but Parker Wagon is right there in the right place. Get underneath the ball. And off the chest. Oh, it's Demol is trying to get to it. Beautiful slide right there by the Colts. They're staying aggressive, the Colts are. They're staying aggressive here in the second half, pushing the pace when they can. Not just sitting on the ball, despite having a three-goal lead. As we're at the 25-minute mark, a little bit over the 25-minute mark. And here come the Colts, but the Spartans doing an excellent job of there converting defensively. Alex Gomez once again in the right spot, doing a good job defensively. Being physical as well, and a beautiful ball ahead to Gonzalez. Also has more on the side. Now Moore's got it. 
trying to find Demola De Salami. Salami still working, does a little spin move. Cutting back right here, trying to find an angle, trying to find a lane, and it's deflected out of play right there. But the Spartans are still in possession on this end. That's a 25-20 in counting, 25-20 in counting. Here comes the throw in right here. Make sure that no one's really committed for the Spartans, so not too many options to throw in too. As now, here comes a counter, oh, almost a counter, but a little trip right there, and they're gonna let things play on here. Just a cross on the legs right there. Feet got tangled up. And Demol's gonna turn the corner here, but good defensive player there, but also Demol's down now as both players collided right there. And we'll see if everyone's all right on the play. Clock will stop at 24-44 here in the second half. Both teams are slow now. Chad did doll, our head trainer, gonna come out for the Spartans to see if everyone's okay. Also, we'll have a trainer for the Colts as well come out. So we'll take a little break here as it's an injury little timeout. We'll be right back after this intermission. In for the Colts, number 16, Ramon Montoya. break to see both players come off the field. Looks like Joey Thompson came with the Spartans as Demola's on the side now, but he appears to be okay. Same with the player for the Colts. We're going to still make sure he's alright, but both players were able to walk off off their own power. And now Parker's going to sit him down the field. And it goes right back to Parker, so he'll get it right back. As we're under 25 minutes, under 25 minutes now. Parker lofts the ball, and it's going to stay in play briefly. A touch to Justin Moore over to Beckham JK. Now Cole Brown with a touch of head here, trying to find Josh Gonzalez, lands goofy right in front. But it's cleared up by the Colts for right now, let's see if Joey can get to it. And Mike Vargas pushes up, Joey's going to try and pursue the ball. And Joey's able to get underneath it here, facing the double team though, and now it's going to go the other way to the Colts. So the Colts have been able to answer some of the offensive attacks right here by the Spartans, and the sails out of play, and now it's waiting for the quick throw in here. And here it comes, over to Cole Bryant. Looks like Demol's going to come back on, and Joey Thompson will sit back out. So Demol appears okay. And while he comes on the field, I want to give a quick shout out to the teacher group at Great Atlanta Christian School. They've all been tuning in the entire season for multiple sporting events, also the fine arts events as well. We have Reagan Burnett saying uh, Nelson Galarraga has an orchestra concert tonight as well. So shout out to all of the Spartan Nation for all events. And go Spartans here as the throw ins into play. Now touch over the back of JK. Let's see if the Spartans can get a little counter going here. A little push the pace. Cole's going to loft it down. Trying to find a man. Max going to send it back ahead. And let's see if Josh Gonzalez can be underneath it. Josh trying to pursue right there. Trying to get back to the ball. He's able to. Good physical check right there. But it goes right back to the Colts. And Demol's trying to turn around and face up. And here he goes. That might be Justin Moore. Sorry, on the side. Now we're going to throw in for the Spartans, though. And a good little physical play in the box right there, but it's going to be cleared out, and it looks like it's going to go to the Colts, and it will. Gomez is pursuing right there, trying to use his body. Good job using that body right there to physically check. So the Colts have a lot of speed, but the Spartans do have a size. So when it comes down to a physical matchup, the Spartans have won, but when it's in the open field like that, the Colts definitely have had the advantage in this game. We're going to loft downfield. He's going to be a yellow card right there on Josh Gonzalez. So that physical play I mentioned might have been a little too physical right there as he's going to be a yellow card on Josh. Right, 
And the clock says 22-19 when this yellow card occurs. So we'll have Joey Thompson come on the field. Josh will take a seat for a second. And it's a 22-19 on the clock with the Colts being up 4-1. to one. Put in play here. And now the Colts have an opportunity here. Try to around. I'm going to loft it up here. And it's going to go wide up the goalpost and out of play right there. So the clock continues to roll now. And it goes like that. So Josh Gonzalez is back in the field and Joey Thompson takes the seat. So Joey's been rotating in and out. Doing a good job in relief. It's a little high five from Jack to K on the way in. And the header's up in the air. Deflect it. Let's see if DeMol can get underneath it. Trying to get underneath it. And nice little body, a little box out. It was off the Colts. So good job by DeMol boxing the yeah, player for the Colts out. And now the Spurs are going to try and counter here. And the ball's led ahead right there. But it's been clear. Oh, now it's on the ground trying to clear it out. But it hits off Justin Moore. But unfortunately, it stayed off of Moore and it went out of play. So the Colts have possession here on the throw in. As we're approaching the 21 minute mark with 21 minutes left in the game. Spartans down 4 1. So, so far the Colts have been able to hold the Spartans down. However, we have a throw in on this end. So, let's see if the Spartans can get a goal on the board here in this situation. Lobbed in right here on this back line, trying to get it inside. And they're going to let it float out of play. And it'll go back to the Colts here. So, with time being of the essence, the Spartans do have to push the pace here, try and. Get the ball back, try to get the ball back into a goal at least and cut into this lead a little bit, put a little pressure on. But it's really that first goal that has to happen. It's that first occurrence right there puts a little bit more pressure on the home team. Because right now they're pretty comfortable. And speaking of being comfortable, they have a counter right here. Here they go, pushing the pace. Here come the Colts. Got an angle, got an angle, trying to loft it in for a goal. But it goes right to Parker Wagon, bounces it off his chest. He's able to secure the ball right back. So we can have Parker right there. And the ball's launched past midfield. Let's see if he can drop and play. Still in play right here, so it'll bounce out, but it'll go back to the GAC Spartans right here with about 20 minutes remaining, 20 minutes remaining in the game. The ball is trying to turn the corner there, but the ball is a little behind right there, so it'll go back to the Colts. Physical play right there, they're going to send it back to the goalie, and Josh Gonzalez is going to try and contest. It's being lofted up in the air. And the Colts will have possession. And here come the Colts, here trying to lob it in, but it's going to be wide up the mark on the back side of the goal. So we'll go back to the Spartans here. Parker sends it in. But it goes straight to the Colts right here, so they're going to try and work a little bit more here, trying to kill some more clock as well, as we're under 20 minutes, under 20 minutes. Time is of the essence for the GAC Spartans here. In this semifinal matchup here, winner of this game will face the winner of Westminster and Oconee as well. And they just uh, they kicked off around seven o'clock. So Jerry Hill, he'll be sending uh, my partner, Dr. Jerry Hill, he'll be sending any updates in that game if, it, if anything occurs. It's only been about 23 minutes since the opening kick. Well, I'll say back here in uh, Dalton, George right here. The Colts are up 4 1 and they're going to lob it in here. And it's still on the ground, still on the ground. Which are going to be deflected. Trying to get another goal on the board. Deflect around, get over the Spartans in their feet. But it's going to. Oh! And it's going to be in for a goal as it slips in between Parker Wagon's legs right there. He stopped it for a second, but it's going to, be, going to go in for a goal here. Actually, wait, we're going to try and see. Let's see if it's actually. In. Okay, both the referees are going to discuss this. They're going to discuss this real quick. So, for the moment, it might appear to be a goal. They have not changed the scoreboard here just yet. Clock stopped at 18.42. I think it's no goal. And it's no goal. There you go, Parker. Good job getting back underneath it. So, no goal here for the Colts. Parker Riding's able to stop the ball and dive back on top of it before it crossed the plane. So, right there, no goal on the board with 18.42 on the clock. 18.42. And now the clock rolls once again. But... That goal was avoided right there as Mac Vargas goes for the header, bounces on the ground. Gonzalez has a touch. Now Mac Vargas is trying to work with it. And the coach trying to answer right back. But good job by Joshua Gonzalez being physical right there and getting the ball back. But it feels like every time that Spartan turns somewhere, there's a. And there's not. Josh is knocked to the ground right here. 
And the Colts have possession. And Josh is still down. This is going to be a cramp attention on the play. I don't want to speculate on anything, but Josh is kind of trying to rise to his feet. Now he's down. We'll have a stoppage here. And the clock will stop at 18.05. Clock will stop at 18.05. And it's right on time here, Dr. Hill on his little injury timeout. He's going to give us a little update. It's 0 0, 20 minutes left in the first half between Westminster and Oconee County. As looks like it might be a cramp here. So Josh Gonzalez is getting treated by Chad Dibdahl, our trainer. And we'll take a break here with 18 05. 18 05. Actually, no, we'll keep it right here as Josh gets up off the field. And Joey Thompson's able to come in. So we'll keep it right here, folks. But it will be the Colts' possession right here. They'll have the ball. And the clock will keep rolling right here. Approaching the 18-minute mark, and here come the Colts. Lofting down the field, but excellent job by Dre Moxie cleaning things up and clearing it out. More of the touch over to Jaquet. As he's the Spartans get down the field, trying to get over to Joey Thompson. The header puts it out of his way, and it's back to the Colts here. Working a little momentum in the middle of the field. Colts are working around, but a little miscue right there, out of play, and they'll go back to GAC. And Josh Gonzalez will come back in for Joey Thompson. I think Joey's going to smile. He's just come in and out, in and out for the entire game. But here come the Colts. Have a lane right here, back up to K defending. Got Zero on the side as well, defending as well. Colts trying to size things up, come back to the middle, come back to the middle, trying to loft it in. They have an angle here. Spartan trying to keep another goal off the board right here defensively, standing in front, moving their feet, moving their feet. Trying to find an angle, but it's in for a goal right there. They found an angle, found the crease, and they found a lane. That's in for a goal, making it 5-1, 5-1. to one, five to one. Go to Hola Creek High School with 17.06 on the board, 17.06 left in the game. So the Spartans down now 5-1 with 17.06 left. It's a tough place to be in here in the semifinal game, but also we've got to keep fighting to the end. They've had a great season so far. There's still time on the board here, so we got to keep fighting. You know, one goal, two goals, you never know. A little turnover here and there, you never know how things can change in the game. So over to that final whistle blows. And now the throw-in's here for the Colts. Ball's up in the air. Goes over to Alex Gomez right here. As we loft it down, trying to find more on the side, but it's gonna more just able to check it down. Gonna loft it in here. It'll be over the goal right there and out of play. So stay with the Colts. And the Colts are gonna try and take their time on each and every play, trying to keep the ball in. Well, as I say that, now they're kind of pushing the pace a little bit more. Speed's the name of their game. They're going to try and keep using that. And here they come, trying to push the pace here. Spartans, oh, it's going to be offside. So they'll go back to the Spartans here. With now under 16 minutes, under 16 minutes remaining in the game. Spartans down 5-1. Still battling here, though, in this semifinal matchup of the Final Four. Winner faces the winner of Oconee and Westminster. And here come the Spartans. Goes off with a touch ahead, trying to loft it ahead. Here they go. Here, Alex Gomez has it now, trying to turn around and face up. Facing the triple team right now, needs a little help. But it'll be cleared out of play. It'll go back to the Spartans right here on the side. Good touch over by Jack Jacquet and Chad Dibdahl to Walker Lewis. Walker gets it into play here. Josh Gonzalez lobs it over to Cole Bryant. Cole trying to get underneath the ball. Over to Moore on the side. Justin's trying to dance right here. Trying to go between the legs right there, but gets tripped up and it's. Oh, oh. Looks like he should go at the Spartans and it will. by Parker Wagon getting the ball back to the Spartans here, but they might just switch out balls here. However, time keeps ticking away here as we're under 15 minutes now, under 15 minutes on the clock. Here we 
Trevor will be put in play here as the clock continues to roll. And here we go. What's the sounds? Cole's going to loft it in, loft it in. There's an angle. Oh, but it's knocked out of play, but it should save the Spartans here. It'll be a corner for GAC. And it'll be a quick putting the ball in play here to Damola. But the most facing the double team already, and now the Colts come out with it. But Walker Loose is right there to clean things up, gets it back into play. Try to find Cole Bryan, but it's knocked out of play by the Colts, and it'll go sailing out of bounds. And we'll have a throw in, excuse me, for uh, GAC. We'll have a throw in for GAC. Now it's in play right here. Spartans bound for a lot of traffic right here, goes through the refs for legs. Trying to turn the corner, but good job by Mac Vargas. Face a little shove on the side right there. Good job by Mac Vargas being physical right there. Taking a contact no matter what. You now Dre's going to send it in, but DeMoe wasn't looking for the ball on the end. Ball right there. And Cole Bryant trying to defend right here on the side. And here come the Colts, here pushing the pace. They have possession now, working it around. Trying to get back to the middle, nice little touch back to the outside. Oh, nice lop to head, but it's going to be just offside. Looks like the call's going to be. So that was a beautiful little workaround right there, but a little bit too far ahead. So with under 13 minutes now, under 13 minutes now, the Colts are up 5-1 here. And the Spartans are on possession now off the offsides. And Parker booms that one down the field. DeMola with a nice little touch in the air. Gets it over Justin Moore. Back to DeMola. Lost right in front of him. Can he get to it? Can he find an angle? And oh, just wide of the mark right there. No goal on the play. It was close. I like the angle. I like the attempt, but just couldn't get the angle right there to get, drop it in for the goal in the back corner. Trying to find that back left-hand corner. Just couldn't get to it right there. A little wide of the mark. Mm. A little stop of a substitution in here. Two come in for the Colts. Well, 12, about 12 minutes exactly. 12 minutes exactly left in the game. Ball sent in the air here. Walker Lewis with a touch. Walker trying to slide to get the ball to bounce. Wants it back to GAC, and it will be back to GAC. Walker trying to send it in quickly here. Gets over to Alex Gomez. Facing pressure on the side. Trying to get the ball back into the middle. Trying to get it to the middle. Spartans have not been able to find a lot of room here. As the defensive pressure for the Colts has definitely been swarming. The Colts are working around here. Walker's got a little side, little jump right there. Finds Mac. Mac's trying to cut back to the middle, but it's a thwarter right there. However, Cole Bryant's in the right place. And trying to turn the corner right here, trying to keep it in play, but it's going to go back to the Colts. And the Colts trying to push things forward here, working it around, working it around. Dre Mossy commits up front. Moving his feet, moving his feet. Good job keeping his feet moving right there. Deflects the ball temporarily. Now it's over to the side. And good job by Mike Vargas stopping that pass right there, clearing things out. And, but it'll go right back to a Colt, though. And they're going to bring things out and reset and try to kill some more time as we're under 11 minutes now. Under 11 minutes left in the game. Oh, there's going to be a loss of the head here. Uh, everyone's on side, and it's going to be in for a goal. It's a little goal on the board. Parker Wagner came in to permit to try to contest that ball right there. But the goal is open right there. Spartans on an offside call if possible, but of course we're going to drop in for another goal. So that'll be 6 1, 6 1, Kohola Creek High School here with 10 51. 10 51 left in the game, and now both officials will talk it over. So if other goal's going to stand, I think it will, but the Spartans do. We're a little bit complaining. I think it might be offside, so all the same. It'll be a goal for the Colts for there. 6 to 1, 6 to 1, and they're going to let things stand. So one goal is taken off the board, that one stays on the board right there. So 6 to 1, Colts right here with 10 51 left in the game. And Westminster scored a goal, so it's 1 0 with 16 20 left in the first half. Ball's put in play here and try to be saved in. And, jo and Joshua Gonzalez, excuse me, he's going to be underneath it. Gets a slide from behind, so a slide tackle from behind. He'll be on the ground right here, so it'll be put in immediately here by GAC, but he's going to go right back to the Colts, though. And DeMel's able to get it right back, and they're going to stop it, and looks like they're going to send it back. The other way to the Colts. So, 
It's that time of the game where things can get a little testy all the same. You know, frustration's coming out, but all the same. Both teams are still playing hard here, still competing to the end. And we put in play. Walker Lewis trying to get underneath it. Walker trying to get upfield here. And here come the Colts working around. Trying to dance, trying to dance, trying to follow the lane. Deflect the beautiful right there, trying to clear things out. And good job by Beckham Jacob just getting it out of play right there. And we're under 10 minutes now, under 10 minutes. We'll have another substitution for the Colts. Number 11 will come on. Number 17 will come off for the Colts. Ball's back in play here. <laughs> Colts working things around. Trying to lob it in here. Drayton Moshley, a nice little header, clearing it out. But all the same, it goes back to the Colts here. As we're under nine minutes now, under nine minutes left in the game. Coholo Creek is up 6-0. Six, six, sorry, excuse me, 6-1, six, 6-1. One, six, one. Spartans had a 1-0 lead early in the first half. and. Been a barrage of Colts goals since then. There's three one intermission. That was a great job right there, moving his feet. Mac Vargas defensively, good job right there. It's going to save the Colts here, but excellent job. And the Spartans have not given up. You know, unfortunate mistakes here and there. Things have not bounced their way, but all of a sudden they've still fought hard, been physical. And most of the stars are still on the field right here, so they're all playing through it. And it's been a whirlwind of a season for the Spartans as. They had a tough record to start the season, different injuries, trying to get things going. Also, in the COVID era, it's been very tough for even practice time alone to happen as different situations have occurred and people have been out, whether it's quarantines, all across the state, all across the country and in the world, really. So it's been very tough to have a consistency in the schedule. But the Spartans were able to rally right there when three playoff games in a row right there. They beat White County. They also defeated Pierce County and Franklin County. And now the Spartans are trying to counter and push the pace here. And here's Mac Vargas. He has a lane trying to touch the head right here to Demola Salami, but it's just out of the reach and into the goalie's arms right there. So it was a beautiful play by Mac. Just let him a little bit too far right there. And the Colts will try and get underneath it, and it stays in play. So the Colts will have it. As we're under eight minutes. And the Spartans keeping their heads high. You know, frustration are out there. Things aren't going exactly how they want to. Down five goals here late in this game, but all of a sudden they're keeping their heads high and trying to keep playing through it. It's all about that Spartan pride. All about that Spartan pride. All the same, here come the Colts pushing the pace. And good job by Parker Wagon getting underneath it. And it's going to be sent down the field here. Talk about the Parker. It's going to float right there as we're under seven minutes now. Under seven minutes left in the game. Ball will go back to the Colts here. Yeah, here come the Colts pushing the pace here. Excellent job by Mac Vargas trying to contest that right there. Grab on the handball, not going to get it here as Alex Gomez is going to lead the pack right here. Trying to lop it ahead to Joshua Gonzalez. Can he get to it? Can he get to it? And the goalie lofts it down for the Colts. Let's see if the Spartans can get underneath this. GK goes for the header right there. Walker Joe to have a little knee sent it forward. Alex putting good pressure on right there. There'll be a foul right there, and it'll go back to the Colts. But hey, I like how the, I like how the Spartans are keep, continuing to fight right here, continuing to battle. As we're under six minutes now, under six minutes remaining in the game. Colts are going to take their time going in. And ball's in the air as Mac Barber's trying to go for it. He's down the play, and now the ball's going to put him in play here. Offside, so call as Parker Wyden does a good job coming out of contest. So, no goal in the play. Hopefully, Max are right. We actually have a play for the Colts down as well. And the clock will stop at 5.23, 5.23 as we have 
two players down here, so we'll take a right quick break. As we'll see if Ashley Mack gets on his feet, so we'll keep it right here, looks like. And so yeah, now we're gonna have a timeout here as the player for the Colts is still down. So Mack appears to be okay. We'll take a break here as we're gonna have a look over here to make sure everyone's okay with the Colts. So we'll be right back after this break at 6 1, Kohala Creek with 523, 523 left in the game. Clock is going to continue to roll here. The Spartans of possession. The ball will be kicked out of play. Go back to the Colts here. And the Colts will try and play a little keep away here. Try and keep it away from the Spartans. And they'll work it back to the goal. Keep moving the ball around here. Good pr pressure by DeMolo though, trying to keep it in front. Now Walker's gonna have a touch over to Parker. Parker's gonna launch it down the field. I had a right back down by the Colts. Over to Walker Lewis. Mac Vargas trying to get a touch. And touch the hand of the Colt right there, so Cole's gonna launch it down. And now the Colts are going to take their time, get the ball to play here, kill some more clock as we're under four minutes now, under four minutes left in the game. Score is 6 1. Spartans are down here, trying to fight back and just trying to keep around here. As now they're going to have a lead ball going ahead, but it'll go back to GAC here. And we're under four minutes now. 3.30 and counting, 3.30 and counting. Cole Bryant's going to get a touch here. Going to try and loft it up. Over to Josh Gonzalez here. Ball's on the ground. And the Colts will have it right back. So they're going to good job putting some pressure on the ball right here. And now it'll be scooped up by the Colts. We will be launched into play. A little deflection up in the air. And it goes to Cole Bryant. He's going to cut back here. Trying to find Demolo Salami. Demolo has a touch here. Has an angle. Can he get it in the goal? And it's going to be, oh, just off the top of the post right there. Close but no dice, unfortunately. And we'll see the Spartans get back underneath it. And Mac Barker is able to stop the ball in midair. He's dancing, trying to find a lane, trying to find a window. And he's going to get knocked down right here. And no call in the play. So the Colts have possession. And that's under three minutes now. We're pretty much 2.30 in counting. 2.30 in counting left in the game. And the Colts trying to counter here. Good job right here by, looks like uh, Jackson Rosero being physical. It's going to be cleared out by Dre Moxie. Just lofted down the field. And yeah, the Colts out position on the throw in. They're going to try and loft it down the field. As we ride from the goal here, Dre Moxie is going to kick it out of, yep, out of play. So... It'll be a throw. It'll be possession here for the Colts, though. Should be a throw-in. As we're at the two-minute mark, two minutes left in the game here. And now the Colts are just working around, trying to play keep away here. As far as doing a good job of putting some defensive pressure on. A little bit injury on the play. The foul on GAC, and Cole's going to try and offer some condolences. He's sorry about that. It's going to be a yellow card right there for all the Spartans. And the clock stops here at 147. 147 left in the game. So Greg Logan coming in for GAC. It's Cole Bryant's going to take a seat. So 
So Greg Logan is going to come in for the Spartans here with 147 left in the game. And Cole will take a seat. Looks like Jerron Williams is also going to get set to check in here. So the Colts will put it into play. The clock's going to roll right here. The wall works right here, deflected down, and the Colts are trying to get possession right back, but they'll be out. And now, yes, Jerron Williams is going to check in. So the senior Jerron Williams is going to check in the game. And the clock's going to keep running here. It's now stop at 132. So Mag Vargas took a seat. Mag Vargas, the freshman, has a lot of potential here. Excellent job this season playing for him as there's 132 left. And while we still have time on the clock, I want to give a shout-out to all the seniors on this team. Excellent careers with the GAC Spartans. We have Jerron Williams, the senior, Walker Lewis. We also have Greg Logan, Andre Moxie, and we also have Joshua Gonzalez. So excellent work by all the seniors for this team, being leaders on the field, especially in a tough season as this. And it's not over just yet as Joshua Gonzalez gets a touch on the side, trying to find a lane, trying to find a window, trying to get it in there, but it's deflected on the ground by the Colts. And they'll get it right back as we're approaching the one-minute mark here. Beckham Chike is still working here. He's not done just yet. Takes a little bump from behind. Greg Logan trying to get a touch. He's knocked out of play, but it'll stay down with GAC here. So Greg Logan will throw it in. Trying to find Gonzalez. Gonzalez is going to streak to the middle right here. Trying to crease. Taking a bump from behind. Taking bumps from everyone. Finds an angle. Finds a lane. Trying to get a bump right here. Trying to get it in. And there's going to be a foul right there. It looks like on the Colts. So that, let's see. The clock's going to keep rolling here, though. Under a minute now. Under a minute right now. 40 seconds right here on the clock, and it's going to keep rolling. Yeah, it's at 30 seconds now. Yep. I'll be able to hear that in the crowd, but 30 seconds now at 29 now. Spartan trying to go quick here. Ball's put in play. And it was almost stopped briefly, but it's still in play. It's going to be lofted up in the air. And it's over the goal as the clock's going to continue to roll here. We're under 20 seconds now. Want to give a shout out to Coach Chiquet, the GAC Spartans, on a great season so far, making to the semifinals in a tough year. This COVID era right here has been very tough. But as far as making to the semifinals, unfortunately, fall here 6 to 1 to the Coahoma Colts right here uh, over here in Dalton, Georgia. But it's been an excellent season for the GAC Spartans. I want to give a shout out to them and for all their efforts here and all the seniors as well. So, congrats to the Colts as they advance to the championship game. The Spartans are going to wrap their run right here. But as the seniors all give each other a hug and realize, hey, this is it for them, it's a good job for them having a great moment. So, a tough loss for the Spartans here, but they showed their pride to the end, kept playing physical, and didn't give in no matter what the differential was. And I'm Chris Sharp signing off here. Go Spartans. Be safe. Have a good evening.